This video is brought to you by Triple Sleeve TCG. Check out their website at triplesleevetcg.com. Hi, welcome back to another deck profile. I'm Richard, and today we've got Bastion, the best deck in the format. Let's go, Keter Sanctuary Gang. Um, I was really excited to find out that the deck I was going to build, regardless whether it was meta or not, ended up being meta. So we're just happy to be here. So, uh, going right into the ride deck, uh, we got our trial deck starter here, Knight of Heavenly Bow Base, kind of kind of filling out that Gurgit uh, theme there. Thank you, uh, Gurgit Artist, for drawing these cards for me. The grade one is Knight of Heavenly Sword Fort. The skill is uh, when is ridden upon by Knight of Heavenly Spear Rooks. Reveal two grade threes. And uh, you can reveal the top card of your deck. You can call to rear if it is a unit. And if it is not a unit, so if it's an order, you put it in the drop zone, which is unfortunate. The other skill is kind of last act. Choose one of your rear guard circle. Choose one of your grade three vanguards and it gets 5k. You're never going to use that because it's a ride deck only card. Speaking of more ride deck only cards, uh, when this is ridden upon Apex Ruler Bastion, Knight of Heavenly Rooks, Spear Rooks, Let's you reveal three grade threes from your hand, and then you can draw a card. So that's nice. It's a nice little plus one. You have tons of grade three in your hands anyway, so free. Uh, during your turn, if you have three or more grade threes, this gets boost. Um, reason I'm not running this in the main deck is because when you drive check this, it is a grade two, not a grade three. So we don't want it in the main deck. Um, just want it for the ride skill. That's pretty much it. And last but not least... Apex Ruler Bastion. During your turn, all your grade 3s get 2k, which actually does kind of help. Uh, at the end of the battle, Vanguard Circle. At the end of the battle, you drive check a grade 3, discard a card from your hand, choose one of your regards, stand it gets 10k. That's once per turn. So it's nice that it's at the end of the battle, so that way you don't have to kind of make that decision. If you check a grade 3 first, you're like, eh, do I want to restand? Uh, uh, you just wait until you're done with your twin drive, and then boom. It, uh, it works out for you. So Bastion, really good card because multi-attacking. On to the main deck. We got our three copies of Bastion for Persona Riding because, you know, Persona Ride is uh, pretty good in D-Series. If you haven't tried it already, you should definitely try Persona Riding if you haven't done so. All right, next up for the main deck. We're running 26 grade threes in this deck. Let's go. We got four copies of Grand Heavenly Sword Aiden. So Aiden's skill is when it's placed on rear, Count Blast 2, Soul Blast 1. Choose a card from your hand and call it. If it's a grade 3, draw two cards. So you just get to plus 1. You do have to Count Blast 2, though, so it's Count Blast heavy. But Bastion does not cost a Count Blast for its skill, so that's nice. So you can use all your uh, Count Blast and Soul Blast just for resources. Love it. Uh, the other skills when it attacks, if you have three or more grade threes, gets an extra 5k, which is pretty dope. So Aiden is a must-have for this deck. Next up for our grade threes, the other must-have super awesome card is Knight of War Damage, Fasado. So Fasado's skill for skill is it cannot be chosen by your opponent's card effect, so it cannot be retired by, like, Virena or those Brantgate. Uh, Orphis cards, which is cool. And when this unit attack hits, you can counter charge and soul charge. And this counts against rear guards as well. So if you want to damage now your opponent, swing at those rear guards and then you get your resources back. <clears throat> Drink a little coffee here. Ah, there we go, my throat's back. So, definitely want to run four Fasado because resources, and it's also a grade three. Next up, another really fun card. Dark Strain Dragon. Ooh, Shadow Paladin aesthetic. Uh, if you have three or more grade three units, Soul Blast 2 and all your grade threes get boosted until the end of the turn. So that's dope. So now, including Bastion skill, it'll make all your grade threes 2k more. All your grade threes become 15k boosters. That is sick. Anyways, Dark Strain. Good card is a grade three, and if you drive check it, Bastion goes off. So definitely run it. Next up, uh, we got card from the trial deck. Four copies of Knight of Broad Axe Rafluke. Ra Rafluke. Rafluke. 
Act. Rearguard circle. Put this into your soul. Choose one of your grade three rearguards and it gets 10k. So this is nice because it sits in your hand and then you just throw it down, shoop, right into the soul and you give something 10k. Maybe the thing you give 10k is the thing you're going to restand with Bastion uh, to give it another 10k, which is going to be really dope. So uh, really good card here. Most importantly, it's a grade three. So if you drive check it, Bastion goes off. Um, and you can just put it behind something with Dark Strain, and then it's, it's a 15k booster. So uh, this card's really good. Helps fill the soul for Aiden. Um, and yeah, I think you should definitely run four of this to give those grade threes a big old boost. All right, next up, um, kind of torn between Snake Lady and Angel Feather Lady, but I picked Angel Feather Lady because resources. Um, this card is, if your Vanguard is Apex Ruler Bastion, this unit gets 5k for every two of your grade 3 units. Uh, her name is Actual Analyst Kokabiel. Kokabiel. So the other one is like a, a grade 3 Witch or something. Uh, I remember its skill being that when it's discarded by a card effect, you can Camelos 1 and then Soul Bless 1 to draw a card. So if you're doing your uh, Ride Deck shenanigans, you discard a card to write a card. You can then kind of bless one, soul bless one to draw a card. So I can see how that makes sense just because you want to get your resources off. Um, it also helps with Bastion because Bastion's skill is when you discard a card, uh, you restand something. But uh, if you are like me and you just go turbo with your resources and just use as Aiden as much as possible, you might find yourself that you would rather use the kind of blast for drawing and not really for, or for drawing two cards and not just for like a soul bless one kind of want to draw one card um but it's completely up to you how you want to do that i just like this because if my hand's gonna be full of grade threes i would like some of them to be able to guard because if i draw and if i draw cards and i just draw into another grade three with no shield it's like uh, okay sure you know but with these i actually feel like you know just that extra little 5k just plop that down easy as pie and if i have you know four grade threes on the board it's 10k so Card does actually come in handy sometimes. It's basically free, so you don't have to really worry about resources. So I feel like this is a good uh, good and neutral decision if you're worried about resources. All right, so that was it for the units. Now we're gonna go on to the orders. I'm running four copies of the Blitz order, Hopeful Testode. So Hopeful Testode is really cool because it is a Blitz order. So if you have three or more, Units, you choose one of your units and he gets 15k to the end of the battle. So since it is a blitz, you just pop that down during the guard step. 15k, easy, just boom, easy 15k shield, it's like a trigger. Um, so this also helps when you're trying to be aggressive, if you're trying to push for game, pick one of those front row grade threes, give it 15k, swing with it first, use Bastion's skill to restand it, now it swings at plus 25. Uh, yeah, pretty decent card. Uh, and then if you really feel like you're not going to use it, you can just, you know, just discard it. It's easy. Get rid of it. <laughs> um, really good card. So next up for orders are the last of the grade threes. I'm only running two copies of the Hour of Holy Judgment Cometh. Um, it's uh, Counter Blast 2. Draw two cards. Choose your units. It gets 5k. Uh, it's a good supplement to Aiden if you don't have Aiden in hand. Um, I just feel like the two works fine just because you are going to be drawing a lot. You can just call down Aiden to get the skill off. They're essentially almost the same cost for Count of Blast 2. So I feel like two is enough for this deck. And if you feel like you don't want to run Hopeful Testode, you can just drop this, run more of this, and another grade three of your choosing. And yeah, but overall, I feel like this works fine for me. Next up for Grade 1s, go right into the PGs, the uh, Aegis Mirror Dragon, however that's pronounced. Sentinel, so Sentinel can only run 4 Sentinels, and when this is placed on the Guard Circle, choose one of your units and it cannot be hit, and if your hand is 2 or more, you choose a card from your hand and discard it. So if you have one card in hand, you don't have to discard, which is dope. So for those PGs, for sure. And that was it for Grade 1s, because... <laughs> This deck doesn't run grade 2s or any other grade 1s within PGs. It's it's just so funny. On to triggers. Uh, our over trigger, Light Dragon Deity of Honors Amartanea. 
So when you reveal this for your trigger check, you remove it, draw a card, and one of your units gets 100 million power. Uh, and if you drive check it, you get the additional effect of your rear guards being able to perform drive checks. So that's cool because uh, you, you uh, over trigger, right? And then you get that grade three right afterwards. So you restand that grade three and you get twin drive, twin drive, which is really dope. So a Martinea, really good for Bastion. It's a really good over trigger overall. <laughs> overall. All right, next up triggers. We got eight crits. Uh, crits win games, and when your opponent's kind of busy worrying about Bastion restand, they're they're worrying about you getting crits when they when you swing with Bastion. So get crits and swing for big number. Crits are good. Crits win games. Uh, I run after that three draw triggers. So draw triggers are cool because they help you draw cards and. They're discard fodder for Bastion and for ride deck shenanigans. So I like draw triggers. Draw triggers are really cool. I miss draw trigger PGs though. Those were nice. And lastly, four heal triggers with the skill that explains what a heal trigger does. So that's cool. Uh, fits with the art and the aesthetic and came with the TV. So yeah, that was it for the main deck. Um, I need to get used to not saying that anymore because there's no more side deck or extra gift zones or anything. We just have our ride deck and our main deck. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys are having fun with Overdress. I'm having a lot of fun playing this deck, even though I'm probably not that good at it. But it's been a fun time, and I hope you guys are enjoying Overdress as well. I know we're having a lot of problems getting cards out into the states for the most part. Um, so hopefully you guys can get your hands on these overdress cards soon. The revival, uh, the festival collection reprinting cards is going to be helpful. Bushy saying that they're going to reprint or get more copies of the first booster set is also good to hear. So cards can stay in circulation and everything kind of seems like it's going to be a decent, uh, rare to pull. So hopefully that works out for everyone. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Uh, there will be games with this deck coming soon. And that's about it. I'll see you all in the next video.